Well, 2016 was an especially dangerous year for members of law enforcement across the country. Assassinations and ambushes of police officers were up more than 300 percent. That's according to the San Francisco Police Officers Association. And joining us now is Martin Halloran, the president of the SFPOA, uh, Dallas, Louisiana, San, um, Palm Springs. Officers were really under fire in a different way than we've ever seen before. It's tough being a cop nowadays. Give us a sense of this last year. This la last year has been very difficult throughout the country, as you said, and we had our own close call on October 15th of 2016 when Officer Kevin Downs was shot in the head uh, responding to a, a cry for help. And thank God Kevin uh, survived that, and we're hoping that he will return to work sometime this year. But um, we have been more fortunate than other jurisdictions, as you've mentioned. The ambushing of police officers throughout the country is on an all-time high and we're hoping to turn that around in 2017. And criticism of police officers seems to be at an all-time high as well. We had a case this week where Jeff Adachi, uh, the public defender, released some video and was critical of the way your officers handled a, an incident, an officer involved shooting. Um, what is your take on what happened in, in that incident? Uh, we take a look at the video here. Uh, certainly. In this uh, video, you're only seeing a, a, a portion of it that Mr. Adachi released. This video goes on for well over 15, 20 minutes, and the officers applied all the de-escalation techniques that they're trained to do. But uh, ultimately, these officers were attacked and bloodied and bruised. Um, and you've got some photos here. Yeah, yeah boy. And, um, okay. Um, I, I know yeah. both of these officers, and okay. uh, this is I don't what know happened. If we could see uh, the this on the camera, but uh, obviously uh, these are is the two pictures. Of, these are the two officers these involved. These are the two in officers this? that were bloodied and bruised and yeah. beaten and assaulted on that evening on January 6th, even though they applied all the de-escalation techniques that they were trained to do, and pepper spray did not work, batons did not work, and this is the result of not having less lethal options available to our members that were taken away from our own police commission. Uh, like stun guns, should they be We've in never, place? If we had tasers, this could have turned out completely different. If we had the carotid restraint that the police commission just took away from us in December, that could have turned out differently. You uh, have a new police chief starting, William Scott. Uh, he'll be sworn in on Monday. The SFPD has a reputation of not working well with outsiders, whether deserved or not. Your take on the new police chief, and uh, do you think he will be able to work with the union and his officers? I intend to work closely with the new police chief, and we have worked closely with other outside chiefs. Um, unfortunately, George Gascon saw the SFPD as a political stepping stone for himself and moved on to the DA's office. I will work with uh, Bill Scott. I have met with him. I hear nothing but good things about him. What were him. your initial impressions of him? Uh, that he's a down-to-earth street cop who has worked his way up through the rank and file of LAPD. Um, we are not LAPD up here. We are a little bit different. San Francisco is a different environment. He's going to be behind the uh, curve and he's going to have to catch up quickly. But we will do everything we can to make sure he succeeds because that means our department succeeds. I want to get your opinion on Greg Sir. He was forced to retire after an incident in the Bayview. He was under a lot of political pressure. Some people thought Gascon had something to do with him being forced out. And uh, recently, he was hired by the Golden State Warriors. There was a public outcry against him. And they basically made this guy to be a racist. And anybody in San Francisco who knows Greg Sir and his work, he's anything but. And he really did work for reform form within the department. Your thoughts on um, the way that he was treated, not only as chief and being pushed out, but then this latest incident? Uh, both when he was chief of police and this latest incident, he's been treated very unfairly. Greg Sir was perhaps one of the best chiefs of police in San Francisco over the past 40 years. And as you said, he did more outreach, uh, particularly in uh, areas of San Francisco that are uh, neglected often. And he was well respected by the community, by the faith-based leaders in San Francisco, and he was thrown under the bus. And now he's been thrown under the bus again. The bus is backed up on him by the warriors. Finally, the police commission, you have not come to an agreement, but you're almost there in terms of new guidelines with use of force, et cetera. Will that happen? And what needs to happen to get over that last hump? I want the police commission to come back to the table. I believe we could find a compromise. Um, if we have to, we will go to a third party, an independent arbitrator, and we will let an arbitrator decide. All right. Marty Halloran, president of the Police Officers Association of the SFPD, appreciate you coming in. Thanks Thank for you your for your time. All right. Thanks.